Hello everybody, it's Jonathan A.K. Senor Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. I bid you welcome December 1st, 2019. A bit of nastiness is starting to fall from the sky. Uh, rain followed up by some snow. What better conditions to be outside grilling, smoke and searing, or at least talking about it. Um, and by the way, the Timberline is rolling smoke right behind this camera right now. But um, I want to talk to you about uh, a little competition that I held of sorts here at the, at the, uh, the smokehouse uh, yesterday. Um, what I wanted to do was pit the, no pun intended, pit the Traeger Timberline versus the Primo Ceramic Grill and see who did baby back ribs better. Um, I had two racks of ribs and again, I could have just put them into one pit, but I said, let's make this, uh, let's make this a competition because I am asked quite often in the ring of fire about you know what is my preferred method or preferred vehicle to smoke and grill on. Is it a pellet grill? Is it a Kamado ceramic style? So I said, let's just uh, let's do a little bit of a comparison. So had two racks of baby back ribs, and I tried to set them up in both uh, grills uh, with the like, I, I, in, in as like identi identical of a fashion as possible in terms of its environment. So they both cooked at 250 degrees for four hours. I tried to set the heights of the ribs um, um, in relation to the fire boxes on both of them to be as even as possible. Um, they were both treated the same way in terms of a rub. Um, I, I didn't like you know do anything overnight. I simply just rubbed it up with uh, Meat Church, um, the, uh, the honey barbecue rub that they have, um, some coarse Jacobson salt, and that was it. Um, in terms of spraying, we sprayed with apple cider vinegar intermittently, and for the last hour we sauced up, um, and that was about it. Um, we were using Jim Beam bourbon uh, uh, pellets from Old Hick on the Traeger. We're using Wicked Good Charcoal um, on the Primo. One look of apple uh, wood in there, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, so what happened? Who's the victor? Um, I'm going to tell you that upon the first few bites, my family unanimously said that the Traeger had come out better. Okay, um, they found that the Primo was way over smoked, at least on the outer edge pieces, and a bit over overcooked as well as over smoked. However, as we cut further into the Primo rack, once we got to the middle, consensus opinion changed that the Primo was better because now it was um, the smoke level, smokiness diminished as you went towards the middle, and then it was like a hint of smoke with just absolute beautiful bark, the texture, insane, a sweetness. I mean, it was probably, I, I would argue, the best, um, the best tasting ribs I had ever made, but that was once you moved to the middle. So, what happened? Why, why is it, I mean, first of all, what are you gonna do? We can call this a draw, I guess. You could call it a draw with the caveat that the Primo probably would have been better if it had not been oversmoked. Why did it get oversmoked? This, we need to discuss this, and this is actually another reason why people go to pellet more so than going to a Kamado style grill nowadays, aside from just the ease of use and just setting your temperature, setting it and forgetting it. When mishaps occur during a cook, it is much easier to correct on a pellet grill than a Kamado, and let me explain why. So what happened was, um, as the grills cooked for the first hour and a half, everything was fine. Um, first of all, the Primo, overshot 250 degrees after the first hour. I came outside and it was actually closer to 300. So it took me probably close to 45 minutes to get it back down to temperature again. Um, so it was actually in front of the Traeger in terms of its um, degree of being cooked uh, because of that temperature jump. Then I had the complete opposite thing happen to the Primo in the following hour when the charcoal um, was extinguished. Now that's more pilot error because I don't think I had enough charcoal in there. Um, I thought I had enough but um, I went back outside and my temperature on the Primo had dropped down below 200 degrees. Um, so with that entail, I had to take the ribs out of the Primo, put it into the Traeger Timberline for about 15 minutes, restoke the flame, load up a new charcoal, because that's one thing with a the, with the ceramic grill. You cannot reload, right? It, you know, without having to remove the food or move things around. It's a complete pain in the neck. Think about if that happens on your pellet grill. If you had you ran out of pellets or they got stuck or whatever, what do you do? You just open up the hopper, the food, the grates, everything is, is not disturbed. So that's a major advantage of the pellet grills versus the, uh, uh, the Kamado style. Um, nevertheless, um, it took me a while. I got the flame lit back 
put the ribs back on, but what happened, because there was new charcoal in there, there was a massive amount of smoke that was rolling on the Primo for like the last 20 minutes of the cook. So it really got saturated with heavy smoke, and it wasn't that good blue smoke. It was heavy, acrid, gray smoke. Um, what I really should have done was I should have kept them on the timber line until the smoke had dissipated and threw them on, but I just wanted to get this done. So, um, moral of the story is that I'd say that it was at best, a, it was probably a draw or maybe we just give it to uh, the Timberline because of the fact that my family unanimously did vote for it. I mean, whether you were taking, biting off on the end, you were in the middle, it didn't matter. The, trim, the Timberline was incredibly consistent. The Primo was all over the place. Again, the edges were over smoked and basically overcooked. Once we got to the middle, it was rib nirvana. So I think what we could take away from this is if you want ease of use and if you want to minimize the potential for catastrophic things to go on during a cook, you get a pellet grill, it's that simple. Um, however, with the Kamado grills, you do have a better chance of attaining next level grillness because there's just to me nothing like the combination of charcoal, wood, and that ceramic uh, interior, the way it just maintains, holds uh, the moisture in, the way that it distributes smoke when you're onto your blue smoke. Um, but it's just going to be more work, so that's just that's just simply the bottom line. And you know, that's probably one of the reasons why we see so many more pellet grills being sold nowadays because people don't want to deal with the hassle. But um, I, I, I do think though that if we did not have that mishap with the charcoal a getting extinguished and then b over smoking, the PM will probably would have won. Anyway, I'll continue to uh, test these, report back all winter. I'm going to be doing this stuff. It's a reason to get out of the house and uh, not listen to the kids fight. So uh, that's it. Any questions, hit me up. You know where to get me. Or visit the Ring of Fire, folks, Westchester County. We aim to please. Thank